Iran has been of historical and political import in the Middle East for a very long time. Its stability has a direct effect on the stability of the rest of the region, and for many reasons. For one, they serve as a buffer for a lot of terrorist groups. Yes, they do offer some support to these groups, but they also serve to moderate and mitigate their full destructive potential. If Iran was invaded by the U.S., these groups would waste no time in mobilizing for a full terror assault on our operations in the Middle East, and Israel most likely. To cut to the chase, a stable Iran is very important for U.S. and Israeli interests in the region. An invaded Iran becomes more than a mere hotbed of anti-Western sentiment. It becomes a true staging ground for every Middle Eastern terrorist group that really wants to take a shot at us. I could waste lots of time going into the various regional powers that aren't marked on a map, i.e. those same terrorist groups, but that's not even important. People can look the details up themselves. One point that is important, though, is that we already went into Iran before. We were directly responsible for the overthrow of their democratic government and its replacement with a brutal dictatorship. The Shah of Iran was a Western-backed dictator and abuser whose excess led to the Ayatollah's revolution and the current theocratic government they have. In our pursuit of oil rights, we create a monstrous evil to rule over these people and our own worst enemy. You want to see the whole Middle East hate and fear the United States? Then all we have to do is invade Iran. We'd be sending the wrong signals to the people of that region, of which many already believe the U.S. just wants to conquer them all and destroy their religion. An invasion would do nothing more than tell the people of that region that the vocal minority is right about us and that we have to be opposed at all costs. Quite simply, few would see us as liberators. Iraq and Afghanistan already showed us that few Middle Easterners see us as good people, and invading Iran would do nothing but reaffirm that belief that we're terrible conquerors. Besides, how can we justify another war in the Middle East? So far, our invasions over there have proved to be less than effective in controlling the spread of terrorism. In fact, as Afghanistan shows, we are our own worst enemies in this regard. We sow the seeds of terrorism just by being over there. With every abuse committed by a minority of our soldiers over there, the people come to see us as more and more evil. This gives fuel to the fires of hatred that burn deep within that region, as they are a long abused people. As the so-called Arab Spring has proven, when people want to revolt, they will do so without the help of others. Just look at Syria for an example of this. No one helps those rebels right now. Beyond a bit of clandestine aid, I'm sure must be coming from a number of Western powers. They want to have freedom from oppression, so they themselves fight for their own rights. For us to go into a nation that doesn't even have the fires of rebellion stoked is foolish in the extreme. All that would do is create a common foe for all the people in the nation to band together to fight. The government would just use our intervention as a rallying cry to unite people under the government rule. For the protection of the people, of course. We would only be doing the people there a great disservice by an invasion of any kind. Any nation that's destabilized becomes a haven for rogue groups of all stripes. Iraq and Afghanistan are good examples of this effect as well. Even if Iran's government pisses us off and they support certain terror groups, they still serve as a buffering force against the full power of these groups. As a part of the dance of diplomacy, Iran can't afford to allow these groups to do whatever they want. They have to be controlled, and Iran has to at least put on a show of fighting them. This serves to limit the power of these groups, more so than we ever could as an occupying force. We have a very bad historical track record when it comes to accomplishing our goals when we invade a place. And the Middle East has the worst track record of them all. To invade Iran and overthrow their government would just be to repeat history once again. It would be throwing away the lessons history has to teach us in favor of a rash action with predictably bad results. Iran would fight us, the people of Iran would fight us, and the terrorist groups over there would fight us. Hell, there's a chance Iran would toss a bone to these terror groups so that they could better oppose us. That would be something historically appropriate for them to do. And it would basically prevent us from getting anything done over there. If you really want another Vietnam, invading Iran would give it to us. To invade Iran would be to destabilize the entire region. Each government in that region has an effect on each other government there. Iran opposes not just Israel, but various other nations over there at various times for various reasons. That creates a check on the desires of other nations, like Syria and Jordan, who want more power over the region. 
It's sort of like a Mexican standoff. You have a bunch of players, each with their guns, ready to draw on each other player. To take any player out of the mix is to change the whole balance of power. Iraq has already proven this to be the case. After the removal of Saddam and the old Iraqi government, other regional powers stepped in to fill the power vacuum. Iran was one of the big ones, but Israel did this too. Each nation that falls over there, for whatever reason, mixes it all up and makes the whole situation more volatile. We will have to deal with the consequences of any such action and who knows just how large an effect that will have. We don't and can't know this effect or its scope. So an invasion could very well make things worse for everyone, Israel included. Even they won't invade Iran as they know all these things all too well. They have no interest in creating another zone of chaos and contention in the war zone that is the Middle East. And for what should be very obvious reasons. And as a final point, most Iranians are theocratically aligned. Iran is a true theocracy. We thought Iraq and Afghanistan were true quagmires, but Iran would be even worse if we tried to impose democracy on them. They don't want it. They once had democracy, and we took it away from them. They now want theocracy. It's what they've turned to in the past 60 years. Invading Iran is the best way to take a piss on the Islamic nations of that region. Again, they don't want us there. They don't want our democracy. They don't want your help. Sorry, but to want to invade their nation to spread democracy is the height of arrogance and is exactly contrary to the principles of freedom that we claim to champion. Even going into Iraq and Afghanistan was retarded. You can say we did good for the region by taking out Saddam, but all we really did was decentralize the source of violence and oppression. Not to say Saddam was a great guy, but his removal has had a net change of nothing. So, in the end of all this, I'll ask you all a question. What if they came to our country and tried to impose their views on us? How would we feel? Long days and pleasant nights.